Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my beauty empties, my products that I have used up recently, and I'm going to let you know if I would repurchase these or not. So I usually post one of these videos about every three months. So this is my winter one. Um, so it's been about three, four months since I filmed my last beauty empty. So I have a ton of things that I have used up. So I'm just going to go ahead and start pulling things off the top. So the two things that are on top are just makeup remover wipes and I got these at um, TJ Maxx or something like that and they're okay for removing swatches. I don't use makeup remover wipes for my face anymore. It's too irritating. So the only thing that I use makeup remover wipes for is to remove swatches but I probably won't buy these anymore because they're not... I like my makeup remover wipes to be more wet <laughs> than these were. So my favorite ones are the Equate Beauty Sensitive Skin ones. I mean, I don't really necessarily need to get sensitive skin anymore because I don't use them on my face, but I like how wet these are and they just do a really good job of removing swatches and yeah, so. And I think those are pretty affordable. This next product that I used up is this Lush Body Lotion in Sleepy. And I really loved this stuff. If you like lavender, you will love this. It just had a really nice lavender fragrance. And this lotion was so moisturizing. Like if you do not like your skin to feel sticky, you won't like this, but I would slather this stuff on at night before I would go to bed. And in the morning, I'd just wake up and my skin would just feel so hydrated and it would smell really nice. So yeah, I really enjoyed this lotion. I would definitely repurchase this. I would like to try some of their other body lotion products. So you'll have to let me know if you have used any other scents and which ones you like. I used up one of the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glows. I might have another one down in here somewhere, but you all know that this is my Holy Grail Dewy Skin Foundation. I just absolutely love this. This makes your skin look so beautiful and glowy. I like to also mix this in with matte foundations to give them a little bit of a glow. It's just my Holy Grail foundation. You guys know how I feel about this. And I just repurchased this. I bought two of them actually because I feel like my shade in 202 Creamy Natural is super hard to find. Like I went to three or four different drugstores to try to find this and they were sewed out of that shade. I absolutely hated this hairspray and I definitely would not repurchase this again. This is from Walmart. It's the Walmart brand, the Equate Beauty, and it's supposed to be a dupe to the Big Sexy spray and play hairspray and this is nothing like that hairspray. This stinks. I don't feel like it holds your ha hair very well. So I would definitely not repurchase this. I just tried to use it up. There's still a little bit left. I just got sick of it. And then I also used up this Big Sexy Hair Root Plump Plus. And this is just a mousse that, you know, you put in on your roots to give your hair volume. And this was just okay. I didn't really feel like it gave my hair like a ton of volume. So I probably won't repurchase this. Um, I don't know. I mean, I find like, I find that with most volumizing hair products, they don't work very well for me or give my hair a lot of volume. My hair is just super fine and straight and it really takes a lot to give my hair any type of body whatsoever. I used up one of the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Creams and this is my favorite moisturizer to use in the evenings. It's really hydrating. It's great for sensitive skin. This is also good for anybody that has eczema or any type of skin conditions like that. It is formulated to help soothe eczema and you know, just make your skin feel a lot better and hydrated, so highly recommend that stuff. I used up one of the Ultra Repair Face Moisturizers from First Aid Beauty, and this is my daytime face moisturizer. It's very moisturizing, but it doesn't make your skin feel like tacky or greasy, like it absorbs into your skin really well. Urban Decay All Nighter Naked Cherry, is that what it's called? I guess it's All Nighter Just Cherry Scented Makeup Setting Spray. And I really enjoyed this. I really liked the way that it smelled. 
I didn't really think it smelled like cherry, but it reminded me of Christmas every time I would use this. And it made my makeup last just like the regular um, all-nighter makeup setting spray. So the Benefit Roller Lash, like I've had this mascara for a while and I've never really mentioned it on my channel because for the longest time, this was the mascara that I just kept over at Josh's apartment. And then as you guys know, Josh moved in with me last year. So I had it and it's just an okay mascara. I mean, it works good, but it's just like, it's a high-end mascara. I would rather just use my Maybelline Lash Sensational. It's kind of comparable to this, and I find that the the Maybelline Lash Sensational gives my lashes more volume. The Roller Lash by Benefit just gives you a lot of separation so and length, which I don't necessarily hate, but... I just don't really feel like it's worth the price the price tag, so I probably won't be repurchasing that. And then I used up one of the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. Like this was, I've had this for a while and it was starting to get dried up and it was starting to flake. So whenever this mascara starts doing that, I know it's time to buy a new one. This is one of my favorite mascaras. I love to use this whenever I wear false lashes because it makes my lashes really black and it doesn't give my lashes too much lift where it's hard to put false lashes on. So it's a very natural looking mascara that just, you know, makes your lashes look really black. The Dior Show Pump and Volume. So I got this sent to me for free through Octoly from Dior. And when I first got this, I really enjoyed this mascara. I felt like it gave my lashes a lot of volume, but it was before I started using the Grande Lash MD, and it was also before I got my lash lift intent. And after I got my lashes lifted, this mascara just did not work out for me anymore. It just clumped my lashes together. It was too volumizing. So if you have short stubby lashes, I recommend this mascara for volume. Volume, but if you have long, like longer lashes, long thick lashes, I don't recommend this because it just makes them clump up and I don't know, it just didn't look good. So that's kind of my thoughts on that mascara. And then the Too Faced Better Than Sex, I'm just getting rid of this because I've had it for a long time and it's starting to get dried up and everything. Um, I did like this, but I like the uh, CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara better, and I actually like the L'Oreal Lash Paradise minus the fact that it flakes because this mascara, I don't know. I mean, I like the Too Faced better than Sex, but I feel like the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara and the Lash Paradise, I feel like it makes my lashes actually thicker than this mascara. I probably won't be repurchasing any of those high-end mascaras. I'll definitely be repurchasing the Voluminous Carbon Black. I used up one, which I may have another one in here, I'm not sure, but the Dove Sensitive Skin Beauty Bar. This is my nighttime face cleanser, or at least one of them. And sometimes I also use this soap to clean my makeup sponges and my makeup brushes. I just find that it's gentle. It doesn't dry my skin out. It doesn't irritate my skin. It's super affordable. So sometimes I'll just rotate this soap with like um, my First Day Beauty Pure Skin Cleanser. I'll just rotate it so I can get more like use out of the the First Day Beauty Cleanser. Here's one of the Pure Skin Face Cleansers that I used up. My mom got me another one of these for Christmas. So definitely would repurchase. And then <laughs> the lid just flew off of that. I used up one of the Batiste dry shampoos. This is the Sassy and Daring Wild. And I really like the scent on this one. I don't know, it was different. And I love the Batiste dry shampoos. It's my go-to. So I repurchase this every time I use one up. I usually have like backups of it. And then whenever I use my next one, then I buy another one. So I always have one on hand. I have another one of the Ultra Repair Face Moisturizers in here. I thought I had at least another one. The Biore UV Aqua Rich Watery Essence and SPF 50 Plus. I used one of these up and you guys know that this is my Holy Grail face sunscreen. So I always have a bunch of these on backups because it's just an amazing sunscreen. You guys probably get sick of me talking about this, but this just soaks 
soaks into your skin and it doesn't feel heavy or greasy underneath foundation. So if you have a hard time finding a good sunscreen to wear under foundations, I highly recommend that. I have this Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. It looks like Bum Bum, but it's pronounced Boom Boom. And I use this up and oh, every time I smell this, I think it's summer. It's just such an awesome cream. Like it is super moisturizing. It smells tropical and amazing. So I would definitely repurchase this. I mean, this one was sent to me for free through Octoly, but I would repurchase this on my own. I've actually really been enjoying their other cream, the Coco Caban. I don't even know if I said the name of this in my other video, but the Coco Cabana, Cabana, Cabana <laughs> the Coco Cabana cream. Um, I also got this sent to me for free through Octoly, but I've really been enjoying this one as well. If you don't like, like this cream is a little bit more lightweight than their Boom Boom cream. So if this is too heavy for you, get the Coco Cabana. Cabana. <laughs> and this one smells different than the Boom Boom Cream. I feel like this one has a little bit lighter scent. I mean, it's still a strong scent, but it's not, it's different. Um, this one smells like a vanilla cupcake on the beach. Like it's a vanilla cupcake with coconut and it has like a buttery, like gourmand smell to it. So I don't know. I really like the way it smells and it's a moisture magnet oil and water body cream and it just feels so moisturizing but at the same time it seeps into your skin and yeah. I mean it's a little sticky at first when it's absorbing but once it's absorbed in it's very hydrating. Another lotion that I used up the Victoria's Secret Endless Days of Summer this was my just go-to body lotion. Well, besides the Boom Boom Cream <laughs> this summer. And actually, I use this more as a hand cream. And I really like the scent on this. It kind of smells like Love Spell, but just slightly a little lighter. Like, it's not quite as strong as Love Spell. So, I really liked that. And I would repurchase that. The Suave Tro Tropical Coconut Conditioner. This stuff I mainly use for a shave cream <laughs> and I really like the way that this stuff smells. It smells like a coconut, um, more of a lightweight coconut than like the So De Janeiro body creams. I just love using this as a shower cream because it's super affordable and after you shave your legs they just feel super smooth. So that's one of my tips for like shaving is to use a really moisturizing conditioner because it feels like your legs just feel so smooth and nice and you can get you know this suave condi conditioner for like a dollar or something so it's super cheap because I know that some shave creams can just be you know kind of expensive for what they are. I used uh, two of the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Sprays. One of just like their large and then this little mini one which was from their Born to Run I think collection. Yeah born to run. So you guys know that the Urban Decay All Nighter is my holy grail, one of my holy grail makeup setting sprays. It definitely keeps your makeup lasting all day long and if your, you know, if your foundation or your makeup looks too powdery, it helps to tone the powders down. Some other shower products that I used up, I used up this Bath & Body Works Bourbon <laughs> Men's, Colle Men's Collection Body Gel. And sometimes I like men's like scents for like body gels and stuff like that in the shower or even like colognes. I got this because I was hoping that it would smell like bourbon, like one of their bourbon candles, but it doesn't. This just smells like a typical men's body wash and I used it to not waste it and Josh also used it. But I probably wouldn't repurchase this again because it wasn't anything special. Like it smells like the um what is that stuff called the old spice like the old spice body washes um the joyco body look shampoo i don't know what i did with the conditioner i don't think i've used it all up yet but i used up the shampoo and this stuff was okay i mean it was i don't feel like it gave my hair like a ton of volume but it didn't weigh my hair down and it smelled good like it just has a really fresh smell to it so, 
I probably wouldn't buy this again. I don't think. I mean, I don't know. I'm always on the look. I'm always on the lookout for a good volumizing shampoo and conditioner. So I'm always trying new stuff out. Unless I find something that I absolutely love. I used up which you don't really use them up. <laughs> they just got too worn out to use anymore. But these little mini Miracle Complexion sponges from Real Techniques, I used these two up. I keep saying used them up. Like, you know what I'm saying. Like, they got too wore out for me to use anymore. Two of the Real Techniques Just Miracle Complexion sponges I used and they got all worn out. And then the Morphe makeup sponge. I'm getting rid of this because I do not like this. This thing is just so dense and it's really hard to work with. I mean, it probably would be better to just use it for like contouring and highlighting instead of using it for foundation. But for me, I would rather just use makeup brushes for that instead of a sponge like to highlight and contour. So. I'm just getting rid of it and I don't think I would repurchase it. I don't know. Unless I see somebody use it in a way that I think I would use it, then maybe I would repurchase it, but I don't know. And I definitely repurchased the Real Technique sponges. Another mascara that I used up, the CoverGirl Flourish by Lash Blast. I actually, well at first I did not like this mascara and then after I have been using the Grande Lash MD and my lashes got longer, I actually really enjoyed this mascara. So this mascara is a good lengthening and separating mascara. So if you have long thick lashes already but you just want them to you know, look a little longer and more separated. I think you would really enjoy this. Now, if you have short stubby lashes, this really isn't gonna do anything for you. So I don't really recommend it for people that have short lashes, but this is just what the wand look like, looks like. And the only other thing that I felt was a downfall to this mascara is I feel like I used it up super quick or it just dried out really fast because it was like, I don't know, like I feel like there's barely any product getting on the wand anymore, so I just decided to throw it out because I felt like I wasn't getting any mascara off of it, so I figured I used it up. Benefit Gimme Brows in shade one, which I've actually switched over to shade, I think three? And I feel like that works out better for me now. I mean, now that my natural like kind of hair color is growing in, and ever since I got my eyebrows microbladed, it's like if I use a really light brow gel, like shade one, it almost makes my brows look weird. Or like I have too light of a color on my brow hairs. Like it just doesn't look great. So I have repurchased that and I do like that brow gel. I use up a little sample of the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. You guys know I already talked about that. And then I used up one of these mini Big Sexy Hair Spray and Play hairsprays. I do like this hairspray, but I found actually another hairspray that's like a holy grail, holy grail hairspray for me now. It's from Chi, and I think it's called Helmet Head. So I really like that hairspray. Like it just gives my hair really good hold because since my hair is so fine, it's like I can spray in the most hardest hold hairspray in my hair and like in two hours, it's like I didn't even spray hairspray in it. Like it just gets so soft again. So at least with that Chi, sorry. <laughs> at least with the Chi hairspray, like it kind of stays in my hair a little longer. So I probably, I don't know, I don't think I'm going to repurchase that anymore. I think I'll just stick with the Chi. And then some items that I just decided to throw out because they were getting kind of old and gross. The Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Color Corrector and the Mega Cushion Contour. Like, I've had these for a year now and I don't know how long they're good for, but I just... I don't know like with the contour it's like sometimes I like this and the other times I don't like it so like the shade of it like sometimes it's a little too I don't know orange or dark or something if I was a darker skin tone I probably would use this a little more so I just decided I'm getting rid of that and I'm not going to give that to anybody because I feel like it gets kind of like unsanitary since it's like the sponge and all that and then with the color corrector I don't know like I know at the beginning of last year I raved about this and I really liked it but I don't know sometimes I feel like it gets it creases on me underneath my eyes so I just decided I'm gonna get declutter that and get rid of it and then 
This foundation here, the Dior Nude Skin Foundation, like I do have a little bit of foundation left in this, but the last time I tried to use this, like it just, it was like dried out or something. Like it did not perform the way that it used to perform. So I just decided it's time to throw this away. I've had this for probably five or six years now. So it's time to go. <laughs> And then this Milani Make It Dewy Makeup Setting Spray. I do like this setting spray, but for some reason, I guess I wasn't shaking this up really good throughout me using it. And so like now all that's left in this is a bunch of oil. And there's been a couple of times that I've went to mist my face. And then whenever I like look up or blink, my eyeshadow has gotten all messed up because this stuff is so oily. So if you do get this Make It Dewy Makeup Setting Spray, make sure every time you use it that you shake it up real good. So all the oil doesn't just you know collect and then you're left with a bunch of oil so i'm getting rid of that i would definitely repurchase that again i would just make sure i shook it up you know and then these two duo lash glues i'm getting rid of these well for one they're just i mean i've almost used them all up but I don't know if this happens to you all. You'll have to let me know and you'll have to let me know what other lash glues to get because once these duo lash adhesives, once they get, I don't know, seven, eight months old, it's like they just don't stay sticky anymore. Like you'll put your lashes on and then it's like they won't stick or they peel up super easy. It's like they just lose their tackiness or something. It's so strange. So you'll have to let me know if that happens to you all and also if you have a better lash glue to recommend. I wouldn't even mind spending a decent amount of money on lash glue just because it lasts forever if it works well. So yeah, just let me know down in the comments. But those were all the products that I have used up recently. If you do enjoy Beauty Empties videos, please give this a thumbs up so I know to keep filming these. If you are new, please don't forget to subscribe and be sure to turn your notifications on so you do not miss any videos from me. But thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope that you all have a great week. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.